Hi. Hi, how are you? What's your My name? My name is Queen Ra. I'm a member of Skid Row Film Club. So what brought you to Skid Row? What brought me to Skid Row was um, after 9-11, I um, ended up coming forward back to LA and times were a little hard, rents were high and I was living in my truck and um, I didn't have a place to stay and so I got placed in the SRO on 7th and Central and so I was there and um, I had a home there but I know I was homeless in my truck and eventually I got housing to Skid Row Housing Trust. So I had a little room and I was in that little room and I went through a deep depression while I was in that room and what brought me out of the depression was um, Shortly after the, uh, the movie The Secret came out, I discovered something called The Passion Test by Chris and Janet Atwood. And so in my little room, I took the passion test and I found out that my top five passions were not matching my actions. So those were your barriers when you was living in Skid Row that, that um, you came against when you was living down there? Yeah, my barriers were like, I, I didn't even know, I was undiagnosed. I didn't even know I was suffering from depression. So I was diagnosed with um, clinical depression, and I came. I'm pulling myself out of that depression now through living my passions. And that is how you overcome all those barriers. Um, well, the greatest uh, overcoming of the barrier was becoming a client at Downtown Mental Health, getting the care and the um, guidance that I needed, and the necessary counseling, and also uh, the support of Agape Community and my sister friends and family. And then eventually the people who are on the street on Skid Row inspired me because I wanted to help people and I didn't know I'm in the same situation so how can I help someone when I'm right here in the same situation? But God showed me a way that I could. Thank goodness for God. So your present situation looks like you're a busy woman at the computer having a good time. Do you surf a lot? Yeah, well, I'm now a newly certified uh, passion test facilitator. Uh huh. Um, I was trained by Chris and Janet Atwood. They have a New York Times bestseller book called The Passion Test, www.thepassiontest.com. And um, I'm now teaching people how to find out what their top five passions are because we found out that four out of five people through the Harris Poll are not happy about what they do. So we want to flip those statistics. And by topping it upside down, I am here to serve our community. So, after living all those many years, what, how many years was it? Um, I lived two years on Skid Row. Okay, would you change anything? Um, I would change the sewer system on 7th and Central, because when you sit, stand that bus stop, all you smell is sewage. And there's something going on in that system that needs to be cleaned up. I also changed the uh, food that is served at the mission to a more organic, healthy food that would help people heal themselves through their diet. Well, thank you very much for this interview and you hope you have great success in the coming years. Thank you so much and I'd like to tell everyone that I have a MySpace page. It's myspace.com forward slash sister circle of love. I'm offering free counseling for the passion test for the month of November. See you later. <laughs> One, two, three.